Hey, what's up everybody? Back with another Mad Striper street sign video. I'm gonna show you how we take this plain old street sign here and turn it into this. So after sketching out the sign, the first step for me is blocking in all the, the big color spots. And then we're gonna go back in, add more colors, then add more detail, shading, black outlines, white highlights, etc. And then from there, I usually paint in three stages. I usually do a big block fill, secondary colors, kind of shade everything in together. And then the last step is black outlines and white highlights. Making sure my sound hits from here to Grenada. Honey gave me skins, man. I told my friends I ate her. Oh, wait up. I'll save the subject for later, but it's time to get wrecked with the creator. creator. All right, we're doing the same thing here, blocking in some color on these detail sections. The reason I paint like this is because the oil enamels tend to bleed into each other, so I like to block it first with color, let it dry, come back in with a second color, some shading, and so the paints don't bleed into each other. And the way I laid out all these graphics is I'll draw, drop a design, whatever's going in there, and then what we'll do is trace the design using Saril transfer paper. And these come in different colors. You got white, red, graphite, I think they make blue. Um, so that if you're painting on different backgrounds, you can see it. And you'll see this was kind of a multi-step process. I'm going in with blacks uh, back and forth just to block off to know where my lines are. And then I can add in shading after that and then clean up the black outlines after I'm all done shading, adding in second color. Yeah. A lot of the backgrounds I do are kind of improvised on the spot. I'll take a Stabilo pencil, black or white, and just kind of draw something in. And from there, it's kind of almost like tattoo filler. You know, I use a lot of graves, clouds, lightning, um, like traditional tattoo arts and you know, stars and dots. Can I kick it to all the people who can quest like a tribe does? Before this, did you really know what I was? Comprehend to the track force. Why? Cause getting mentions on the tip of the vibe buzz. Rock and roll to the beat of the funk fuzz. Wipe your feet really good on the rhythm rug. If you feel the urge to freak, do the jitterbug. Come and spread your arms if you really need a hug. Afrocentric living is a big shrug. I like filled with. Fine. 
that's what I love. A lower plateau is what we're above. If you diss us, we won't even think of. We'll nip of the dog and give a big shove. This rhythm really fits like a snug glove. Like a box of positives, it's a plus love. As the tribe flies high like a dove. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm starting to use some stippling to really make the backgrounds pop around the characters. It really adds depth, fills out your background, makes things pop, brings them to life. I picked this up from a great artist, Darren McKegg, here. And uh, his Instagram's linked below, check him out. He does some awesome, awesome work. Uh, his style and his art is just a huge influence to me. As you can tell, got a lot of similar stuff in the background here. Um, just awesome artists, go check him out. So this project was brought to me by a good friend and uh, we kind of kept bouncing ideas off and it actually turned out to be more of a mural piece than a pinstriping piece. But as my signature style goes, I always find a way to fit some pinstriping in there. So around the border, it was perfect. It kind of accents everything, gives it a nice border, a nice clean look. And uh, you know, it wouldn't be a match right for that. All right, you guys made it to the end. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching, all seven of you, I'm assuming. Uh, I appreciate it. appreciate the support from you guys. We're going to be doing some more videos like this. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth look at sign painting, kind of my process, more in-depth look at the materials that I'm using, uh, how I set up signs, graphics, lettering, pinstriping, so on. Um, so I'll be coming in about a week or so. So stay tuned. we got a lot more stuff coming your way. Thanks, guys.